Welcome to Unheard History, the history you don't hear about in school. You have heard the different versions of the first Thanksgiving, but have you heard of how Thanksgiving became a national holiday and how the food on the table has changed over the years? In autumn 1621, the first Thanksgiving occurred. It was a three-day harvest celebration feast. Attendees were primarily male settlers and Native Americans of the Wampanoag tribe who outnumbered the colonists. Not only do the people around the table look different than they do now, but the food did as well. Most of the food on the table was cooked using Native American spices and cooking methods. On the first Thanksgiving, they had pumpkin and cranberries, but they definitely didn't have them in the form we do now, and they also didn't have any turkey. They more likely had shellfish, fish, and venison. We eat turkey now, but feasting folks back then ate peacocks, which gave off a stringy meat. When turkey became widely accepted, peacocks became a rarity. Because of a lack of sugar, cranberries weren't made as a gel or a sweet sauce as we know it now, but more as a plain tart sauce. Even though sweet potatoes existed in the country at the time, they were probably not eaten at the first Thanksgiving. Sweet potatoes, which originated in Peru, were rumored to be an aphrodisiac. Because of this, King Henry VIII was known to eat a plethora of the vegetable. While the first Thanksgiving is the story we hear the most, it is not much like the Thanksgiving we celebrate now. Thanksgiving did not become a national holiday until 1863. Lincoln declared the fourth Thursday in November the national holiday Thanksgiving. The 16th president did it as an attempt to unite a divided nation. Sarah Josepha Hale, writer of Mary Had a Little Lamb, had been pleading for Thanksgiving to become a national holiday since the 1820s. She became known as the mother of Thanksgiving. In 1939, FDR moved Thanksgiving to the third Thursday in November to get more shopping days in before Christmas. This became known as Thanksgiving, but in 1941, Thanksgiving was moved permanently to the fourth Thursday in November. Since ancient times, countless cultures such as the Greeks, Romans, and Native Americans have had harvest celebrations to give thanks and celebrate a successful harvest. Nowadays, Thanksgiving has become synonymous with eating mass amounts of food, spending time with family, and doing crazy shopping. But we should all take time to look back and reflect on the original purpose of Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. If you want to hear more on her history, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Digital Learning Company.